the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest off of Highway 90, 18 miles southwest of Corbin, Kentucky. The forest lies within the Cumberland Plateau, just west of the Appalachian Mountains. The forest contains sandstone cliffs, narrow ravines, three large lakes, many rivers, streams, wilderness areas, and gorges to enjoy. As you drive through the Cumberland Mountains, named for Prince William, the Duke of Cumberland, son of King George II and Queen Caroline of England, you begin to experience the rugged natural beauty of Cumberland Falls State Park. On August 21, 1931, the park became Kentucky's third state park after a generous donation by T. Coleman DuPont, whose widow purchased the 593 acres and gave it to the state while visiting, you can stay at the historic DuPont Lodge. It was built in 1941 from solid hemlock beams, pine paneling, and stones, with 51 private rooms, a large stone fireplace in the great room, a separate game room, and free high-speed internet. You can relax in comfort at this home away from home. The lodge features the Riverview Restaurant. With a variety of menu options, you can enjoy fine dining, while watching the Cumberland River as it winds its way through the mountains. You can have a cup of coffee or visit with friends on the outdoor observation deck while watching the mist rise off the river through the mountain. There are also 50 campsites available, woodland rooms, and cabins for overnight stays. The winding road takes you down to the falls. From the Lover's Leap viewing area, you can experience a clear view of the falls upstream the beach downstream, the cliff trail across the river, and if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a river otter swimming and playing in the river below. A short walk down to the beach area offers an opportunity to picnic by the river, explore the remains of the old beach house that burned down in 1968, or pick up one of the 20 hiking trails that runs through the park. You can climb on the large rocks to get a better view of the river, mountains, and fall while absorbing nature at its finest. From the main viewing area, you can get up close to the massive falls that measure 125 feet across and 65 feet tall. During peak flood season, the falls can expand to 300 feet wide. The Cumberland Falls are often referred to as the Niagara of the South. On almost any sunny day, you can see a rainbow at the falls and sometimes even a double rainbow. There is also a lower observation area that takes you below the falls to get a different perspective. In 1954, a steel and concrete bridge was built over the river. It was designed by R.R. Dawson of Bloomfield, Kentucky. He based the design off bridges he had seen in Europe on the Rhine River. The bridge was finished with native sandstone and measures 460 feet long, 26 feet wide, with 30-inch pedestrian walkways on either side. On the other side of the bridge, you can pick up trail number 9, voted best hiking trail in Kentucky. The black bear warning signs explain that there have been bear sightings in the area and what you should do if you should see one. The rugged trail takes you for a hike across the cliff face, up the mountain and back down as you travel downstream. In the 1920s, this was near the location of the Cumberland Falls Hotel. It was just across the river from the Brunson Inn. Both of the inns burned down in the late 1940s. As you follow the trail, you can see the falls at various spots, as well as the observation area, gift shop, visitor center, the river and beach areas below. The falls are on the border of Whitley and McCreary counties, and on average, over 3,600 cubic feet of water travels down the falls per second. The Cumberland River is 687 miles long. It is fed by many small streams that run through the Cumberland Plateau. The main tributaries all enter downstream from the falls, such as the Laurel, Rock Castle, and South Fork Rivers in Kentucky, and many more in Tennessee. 
The river travels across the state lines into Tennessee before emptying into the Ohio River. Eagle Falls is located in McCreary County. Led from the Eagle Creek, it descends 44 feet before dropping into the Cumberland River. This waterfall is believed to have been a sacred area to the Shawnee Indians. Many Indian artifacts were found here and can be viewed in the Blair Building near the DuPont Lodge. When the water level is low, you can explore the shores on this side of the river and view large rocks that have been shaped by the constant flow of the river. As the looped trail meanders through the forest, you pass by many rock formations and can see the layers of rock that make up the mountain. Sandstone, conglomerate, shale, siltstone, limestone, coal, and dolomite are some of the many formations you can see. There are trees growing out of the rocks and in some places it seems as though the trees are holding up the large stones they have grown around. A hike up the many stairs to the Gorge Overlook offers a shelter to sit, rest, and enjoy the view across the mountain and into the gorge below. You can really tell just how high up you've traveled from this point. As you make your way back to the beginning of this trail, you can look out onto the river above the falls. It is here that in the 1900s, a ferry would take visitors across the river for a small fee. Also in the same area was a cable operated basket that was used to carry mail across the river to and from the Brunson Inn during the flood season. Archaeological studies show that human beings have lived in the Cumberland River area at least 10,000 years. There is one more reason Cumberland Falls is so popular, having over 700,000 visitors per year. It is believed to be the same reason that Indians settled here long ago, holding the falls as a sacred area. If you visit at night, by the light of a full moon, you may just be able to see the world-famous moon bay. You have to be patient and wait for the moon to rise over the mountainside and illuminate the gorge and into the base of the falls. It is then you can see a white beam of light reflecting from the mist at the base of the falls. In the fall and winter months, more colors are visible in the moon bow. I hope you've enjoyed my virtual tour of Cumberland Falls State Park. Come back and visit again soon.